Hello, welcome. This is a Real Mermaid Rescue and Release TV footage or look at thereof. Now, if you're a kid, look away now, find something else to watch. If you are a mermaid fan, if you're a fan of Mermaid Melissa, uh, you're not going to learn anything here. Look away now. If you are just generally enchanted, um, intoxicated, if you love these mermaid videos, I don't want to destroy the magic. What I'm about to do is, is, is tantamount to debunking Father Christmas. There's a, 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 an argument to be had for saying this is wholly unnecessary, so I don't want to upset the believers and those are just happily enchanted. But here we go, what I'm doing. Um, this is from the Mermaid Melissa YouTube site. Uh, which is your first clue, I suppose, really. Mermaids don't tend to upload videos to YouTube. Uh, what bothers me is these... Uh, I think this is real. Is it real? Is this real? You know, it goes on and on and on. So many people. Now, I'm hoping that all of these are, like, 12 years old or younger, and they can't just ascertain context by watching. My fear is that they're fucking idiots and that they need to be baby-walked through what uh, what is obviously a PR stunt. So here we go, let's do it. Okay, guys, we're going to come this way with her. Okay, this is your opening gambit. You've got these guys, you'll see later on in the video, these guys look really good. The uniforms are standard, uh, there's nothing wrong with them. The way they behave, the, how, how much care they take of, of her, and the teamwork between them, they're not actors. They are genuine fish and wildlife or something. We'll find out later in the video. The press is in attendance, either been invited or come to the thing. This could be this could be explained actually, because the press monitor police frequencies and stuff like that, so they, they would be there if this really happened. Okay, let's go. <laughs> This is your second clue. The medical facilities and the, and the emergency vehicles and stuff are behind them. They're walking towards the water. Now, the context would be you've just found a brand new species that's actually got a mythological supporting structure behind it and you're just going to put it back in the water. If you were looking for the Titanic, you found it, you found that bloody jewel that rose through in the water and you picked it up, oh, that's really interesting, and put it back in the water. It's that kind of mentality. They wouldn't. They'd be dissecting her in a heartbeat. We're putting them on the I don't know if you heard that, but the mermaid said, I'm just glad to get back into the water. So, the mermaid can speak English and she does it with an American accent. These are big clues. <laughs> how, how many other... <laughs> How many other aquatic animals speak English with an American accent? Okay, go on. Oh, it's really cool. Um, it is charming mermaid stuff. Come here. Let's take her up to the water's edge. She looks good. She looks good. She looks really good. And I think she's wearing lipstick. 15, 20 years ago, some guys put their heads together and said, given uh, a mermaid's life cycle, the depth she would have to go to, the pressure she'd have to endure, the temperature she'd have to endure, the sort of diet she could expect and frequency to eat, and how she would have to move through the water and stuff, what would a mermaid look like? And they basically came up with this idea that it would look like a manatee, very much like a manatee, even if it had a human looking head, the rest of it would just be blubber. I 
<laughs> kind of like that's quite funny that actually considering rolling her down the bank <laughs> I wonder what she thinks of that <laughs> <laughs> I'm a new fish and wildlife guys. This is to get a mermaid back in. The well, there we go. Fish and wildlife guys. They are the real. They are the real deal. <laughs> right. Anybody who's been fishing, never caught fish and put it back into the water. Immediately, you know, it's like it's about as as useful on land as a piece of fruit. It's fucked, basically. When you put a fish back in the water, it slips away. It's gone. It's a different animal. It's it cuts through the water. It's so fast. You just don't see. You see it for less than a second once it's back in its natural environment. Now let's see how Mermaid Melissa Mermaid handles this transition. <laughs> <laughs> that is not an aquatic animal. <laughs> that is a land dwelling animal messing about in the water a little bit. That's not an animal completely suited to the water. Let's have a look. There's another little clue coming up. <laughs> Mermaids that say hi. Um, culturally aware. <laughs> culturally aware for American people. The lack of return to habitat as well. The, the propensity to wheedle around on this little bit of coastline is another clue. Here we go, Mermaid Melissa. Now nah, she's obviously doing PR. I, I'm not American. I don't. I'm not casually familiar with the work of Mermaid Melissa. But I'm guessing here, before all creatures become mythical, basically before everything becomes extinct, that they're doing conservation publicity stuff with her. But I think Mermaid Melissa, from what I've seen, I've seen a couple of vids, I think she's uh, just really enjoys doing it, doesn't she? They've incorporated her into this, but as a sort of a mascot, but I think she just enjoyed doing it. And was spending a lot of time in the water anyway. Okay, debunk. I'm sorry, that was an asshole move, but I had to do it. Yeah, yeah obviously, not real. So, yeah, if you bought into this, for whatever fucking reason, debunked.